Hi, this is Gilles, the radio prepper, with a new product uh, for Meshtastic to, uh, to show you today. And I just got this. It's from Elecro. It's called the uh, ThinkNode M1. Well, awesome little uh, device. Uh, it uh, has a uh, what's called a paper screen, so uh, very low electricity consumption. It also uses the NRF52840, so low power consumption. Uh, this will last quite a bit of time on the battery. Uh, internal battery, of course, uh, antenna. Uh, be careful, this is an RPSMA, so I broke an antenna, a regular SMA antenna, trying to, to put it on. Uh, so RPSMA, you can replace it for a longer one if you want. It has a button here that uh, looks like a volume button, but of course there's no volume, it's meshtastic. It is actually used for the uh, screen uh, brightness, so you can leave it on uh, no brightness and turn it on. I thought it was pretty smart. I mean, I kind of like that, um, being able to set the, the brightness of the screen like this. It has a GPS, so you can turn it on or off uh, with the button here on the side. You have the regular two buttons here as well. So very nifty little device. I really like it. I mean, you can put this on your in your shot pocket and uh, it, it's, it doesn't take much space. Uh, the antenna surprisingly uh, works pretty well, although it's pretty short. Uh, of course, it's not as good as a full-size antenna, but you know, uh, that's pretty handy like that. You can, you can put it in your pocket again and uh, it, nobody will be the wiser. So I just want to show you this because it, it's really cool. I mean, it's about, uh, I think the cost is about, it starts at, um, I think $40 and $14 if you want it with the case. So I would definitely get it with the case. So about $54. Uh, I'll put the link down below. I, I just like it, guys. It has a USB-C connector here. I don't know. It's just kind of cute. <laughs> and it works. So, all right. So we are at the uh, Col de Vence. I'm doing some uh, amateur radio. Of course, I have my uh, ThinkNode M1 with me. You'll notice that I changed the antenna. And this is the uh, Gizont antenna. The, I have the link down below. That's uh, probably the, the, the one I recommend the most. Uh, it's, you know, has more performance, of course, than the, uh, the very small one. Although the tiny antenna that comes with it, the, it just works incredibly well. I had one report from a station. I'm not going to say how I did that, but it was 470 kilometers away. And that, that was line of sight. But still, I mean, it's a huge distance for such a tiny antenna. And this one is probably even better. So um, I carry it absolutely everywhere I go now. And uh, one thing that I noticed also, that's really important, you know, with my other nodes, if I let the battery drain down to zero, they're, they're trash. Uh, I throw them away, they'll never recharge again. This one, I forgot to turn it off a few times, like four or five times. And it still works, the battery is still good. So either it's a very good battery or a good BMS system, battery management system inside uh, the, uh, the node, because it still works and I haven't noticed any uh, degradation of performance of the battery. So highly recommended. Think Node M1 works extremely well. And uh, nothing bad to say about it. Just my favorite right now. Oh, GPS is off, turn it back on. <laughs> Uh, it's great guys, that's all I have to say about it, have a good one.